<laughs> and now we got winners finals for you boys. Yeah, we're gonna fight with Benia and Jen going at it. Yes, sir. We're in our top four. This is the winners final. This is the new uh, number Sinji, but somehow it is a million times better. But it's not Jen though. It's not always Jen. Sometimes it's not it's always Benia. It's not. Yeah, that's the thing. So that's why. It's but like, I would say this is our most common. Yeah, you know what? I'll this give you that. This is the most common this winners is, grand. There's a rivalry here. Like, I remember it definitely the, is. Did you did you watch that interview with Jen? Yeah, Jen definitely. Uh, do we have to? Do we get into the the beef? There's not really beef. There's not really it's, beef. They, they everyone likes each other, as you know. Yeah, they, they, they do. There's people homies. outside, as you know. That's there was just, the Venya calls Jen his son, but there was just a little bit of a. Jen is my son. Bit, bit of, <laughs> Jen's everyone's son. There's a little bit of salt that came from both players after that set. Yeah, a little bit of demolition. Too. Yeah. <laughs> The <laughs> bend numbers from Zeno. Uh. Yeah, honestly, yeah. At least, oh. at least he didn't punch a hole in the wall, man. Like, <laughs> that was classic oh, lore dude. right there. So there we go. Jen took away that first. <laughs> <laughs> it never got fixed. Really? Is there still a hole? That We're was not like at that venue anymore, ago. but there's still a hole in the wall. That was 2015. As far as I know. <laughs> okay, but enough about holes in the wall. Let's talk about <laughs> nares in the air. Na uh. Oh. Put him in the air like you just don't care, man. Here we go. New Everyone's air. there. We, we are in Nair City yeah. right now in this top eight. What? That could, that was a good call out from Venia. You saw him like mess with the recovery with the Hydro Pump. Set I kind of wish he Hydro Pumped again. Yeah, honestly, no. He wanted, he wanted to get the Kunai. He had, he had that. He had the that dagger. Uh, yeah, the Slash. Slash. Yeah, if anyone's got a Slash, it's a Greninja. Look at mix. that. How much damage did that do? Nair up tilt up smash? 74 million damage. Not quite, but a lot. Oh, I thought that was up smash. If that was up smash, that would have worked. That was a call. Can we talk about the Palu S smash call that's yeah, today? Can, can we talk about how Palutena shouldn't Everyone be charging F smash? It should be charging up smash, if anything. I mean, no, I like the F smash call outs. But, like, every single one of Palu's smash attacks, unless it's up smash to cover, like, ledge, yeah. is always, like, a super duper hard call. Well, thing is, like, Venia likes jumping, too. He does. Venia likes moving without shield and jumping. Yeah. Which is why. What is going Whoa. on? Yo, Jen is tilted. What is going on? Uh, is he just trying to, like... He's trying to style? Yeah, I I'm not sure. Like Maybe he's kind of feeling it because he lost the style. Oh, he had it. You know what? He did have it. So he I'm going to shut up. <laughs> it's still, like, almost not worth it, though. It's so big. It just covers, like, everything. Yeah, but leave yourself wide open. You just go for an easy ledge drop back air, you know? Yeah, like, just platform drop, slap him in the face. Yeah. Leave a bruise. What? Leave a bruise. Oh, okay. With yeah. the back air, because you, you smacked him in the something face. Completely different. Oh, I'm sorry. It's not your fault. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. I could have been clear. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you, Bo. No doubt. Uh, oh, Greninja, that king under get, gets low to the ground. Yeah, he does that little Naruto run whenever he dashes, yeah. so he's got that low Which profile. Which is extremely powerful in this game. Yes. Staying low because um, jumps in this game travel to their apex quite quickly. That's why Kirby's top tier. What? Um, so here we go. Uh, How much did House pay you to say that? <laughs> <laughs> Negative five dollars. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Ooh, caught him super high with that neutral air. Hold on. Uh, ledge drive situation. Venya's got him cornered, but he's going to give up a lot of ground. A, a lot of ground. Yeah, and honestly... That's the, it, the price of moving without shields. Wait, did he just drag him onto the stage with the rising yeah, neutral? Yeah, and that then was he read his dash back yeah, and grabbed him. That know. was so weird. Somehow. Is that going to be it? Okay, hi. I like it. That was Looney Tunes. That, ooh. Okay, hard call. I like yeah. it. Knew it wasn't going to be a combo. Get out of here. Step on me, Palutena, Venny has said. <laughs> <laughs> she, she found it funny, too, man. Like, You a fan of her high heels there? Press one. <laughs> <laughs> In the chat right now, press one. Looking like Wagner out here. If Sage wasn't at NLBC, he'd be right out here, here right yelling. Here. This one's for you. Oh gosh, she does step you on You didn't him. know? I actually didn't know. No, I thought, because, wait, isn't she throwing her shield at him? I, you, I always thought it was a shield, right? Yeah. Like, like a mark at her, but she steps on you. Yeah. She's actually stepping on him. Mm -hmm. That's why I said. Okay, fast forward. Oh, yeah, no. Yeah, there was. I, no slow mo steps? Okay. That. No. <laughs> the match was starting. Yes, too. Who cares? Nothing's going to happen. We're going to see Nair. <laughs> Tell me I'm wrong. I've already seen Venya in here like eight times. We're only 15 seconds in the game. Need that double jump. I could have. Could, something. I'm so out of it right now. <laughs> I've ruined something the commentary in this game. 
<laughs> Something could have happened from We're that. too OD. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> we have to reset. Okay. Take a deep breath. All right, here we go. D game two. Jen versus Venia. Jen up one to zero. One to zero. <laughs> After spamming those smash attacks on the edge of the yes. stage so he many times. switched it up, though. He stopped hitting those buttons. The yeah, last so, stop going it for the downer instead. For okay. Even in the back of... Uh, Venya kind of getting mixed. I'm going to say he hasn't won neutral in a while, but his mash option is coming out strong right yeah. there. Yeah. Wake up, DP. Very strong. Not quite. That wasn't wrong situation. Wait, you didn't wake up? No, he was asleep right now. Uh, yeah, I Venya thought... I, I thought <laughs> at the controller? At the wheel? Okay. Ooh, trying to give him the toes. There they are. Yeah, and even though he double jumped to escape the first one, now he's, you know, got a resource. And Venya is just not letting him get back to the, off those platforms. The people who are, like, super good at pushing advantage are, like, so strong in this game. Jen does it. Like, you get hit by Jen, you are not getting to play the game on your own terms yeah. for the next, like, 30 seconds. It becomes Marvel for a bit. Mm -hmm. no, no, not quite, because Marvel is literally solitaire. You can put your controller down. You could, yeah. yeah, in this game, you... <laughs> there's which is why there's I mix-ups. There's mix-ups. There's yeah, so yeah. much interaction. Right. Even if you're in disadvantage, there's... It's just the great thing about Smash in general. That's every game. Even yeah. when you're getting hit, you interact, which is a very... Um, Unique experience mm -hmm. for fighting games, I guess. It's awesome. That's going to be it. Yep. Send them up. That was the uh, tossies right there. What? You know, you know, like those terms that they say in the FTC. Oh, like yeah, 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 yeah. The tossies the are mixies. the the thinkums. Guessies. Yeah. Fakeums. <laughs> thinkums. Those are my thinkums. Favorite. I think said fakeums. No, those fakeums are not true are, combos. Fakeums are good. The fake mix. The fake. <laughs> American combos, as fake they say. <laughs> Or is it American Extensions? I might be getting it wrong. It's when you drop your combo and then you pick it back up and you kill them for it. I think it's an anime term. Is that going to be it? Ooh, not going to find the mix. Wrong read there. Called out the jump. Oh. Should have did that last time. Yeah, we won the forward air after that. Oh, that should be it, right? Oh, what? really interesting recovery option by Jen. Very smart. The first time we're seeing the Shadow Sneak come out from Venia. That entire exchange was weird, yeah. Yeah, that was... Because, uh, like, both both their play was, like, too smart yeah. for either of them. They were both, like, five levels deep choosing these crazy options, and then in the end, it was just full hot air. That takes yeah, the stuff. Yeah, it was stop. just, like, whatever. Jen went like so a, deep, he was at the back on ground level. The basic level. bitch kill, like, just to throw it out. After all that, like, crazy stuff. Ooh, okay, Ooh I, I respect that because it, it definitely looked like Joe was going to push Nair. Yeah, he did. He just delayed it. Yeah, he was like, wait a sec. He's like, whoa. Maybe he just mistimed it. Oh, yeah. okay, deep in there, not gonna find it. And good recovery from Venia, recognizing that that, that was gonna happen, so he just backed off where yeah, the Yeah, and stage. immediately took good stage positioning by doing that, yeah. instead of having to waste time going to the ledge first, and, and it's gonna uh, result in a stock. And even though he turned that around, the I don't think that was worth it. Even if that would've hit Venia, it was not worth the exchange. He died for it, when it mm -hmm. if he would've won that exchange. But if it added on a couple damage, you know? A couple hits. This not worth it. Uh, so last stock, we saw Venia take a huge advantage Right after taking the stock, putting him in some crazy mix. But uh, we're not really... He's doing it right now, too, I mean. Yeah. Let's see if Jen can uh, find the stock trade in this ledge trap situation. Down by 125. It goes that might off be it. another it neutral air. Very strong option. Runoff yeah. Nair is like the multi-tool of neutral aerial moves. It's hard to deal with offstage, because like, when you're trying to get back to the stage, like what are you going to do? Air dodge? It's going to go through it. Like The, the call-out you need to do if you think they're going to nair is such an awkward recovery, and they can just react to it before they right. even nair. Like, so if you don't run off a nair, like, they're ready for it. Mm -hmm. Like Greninja needs to go like high from super far away, and then you're not in the position for Palo to worry about nair. So it's like, it's good. It could be a struggle for Venia or Greninja. Mm -hmm. Greninja has a it's kind of linear. He only has, like, once he takes one angle, you kind of know what he's doing with the second. Right. Oh, there we go. Off of, nice. speaking of neutral air, you're not going to be able to get it's that. Very strong. Confirm off of Nair into forward air. One of Greninja's famous combo charters ever since Smash 4 is yeah. Nair. Nair is the move, and it's only gotten better. Yeah. Nair does things in this game. That's ultimate, dude. I feel like it's just who's got the better Nair. Bro, Smash 4 was run up shield grab. This game, this game is we Nair. Nair this the, game. We, honestly, we I, li stand Nair I like that better, dude. Yeah, yeah it's way it won't run up gr run shield, up shield grab. A smash 4, a reason the end was super dead, it was because if you weren't, like, 
Fox, Bayo, Cloud, your meta, especially against those characters, became run up shield. Yeah. No one wants to see run up shield flicker the power shield. Yeah. Hope you get a grab. No, we want some parries. Out we here. want parries. We want nares. nares. We want combos. That's what I'm here for. You have the combo is nair, 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 nair. <laughs> Maybe not. I take it back. <laughs> You got Battlefield Target Test. Ooh. You know what? At least it's not down throw Nair 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 Nair. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little bit better. We got to get the raw neutral read first. Yeah. I love the early percent down air combos. They look so clean. Mm. How they can actually do a down air um, explosive flame. It's yeah. a true combo. Oh, that's uh, sick. It, it's kind of like a little cheeky thing she can do. Uh, it's very niche. Yeah, certain percents. Right, right there we saw uh, percents were low enough for Jen to get down air fair. Which, uh, how hitting fair at low percents is very scary because it has enough hit stun that you can't like just mash out an option because you have to respect Palu's buttons on top of you. Because yeah. they do what they do. Right. That nair is scary. Benny, it does not stop. Greninja puts on so much... Come on. What? Ray? Yo, I did Ray just grab the controller? Yeah, I feel like he just like jacked Did someone just connect quick. the pro controller? Yeah. What's going on? Playing in the crowd? Collusion? I mean, honestly, I respect that because he was on the top platform. So. I see. I can see it there. Yeah. A little bit of, you know, it's honestly not even that greedy because F throw and back throw, you weren't close enough to the ledge to set up uh, a ledge trap. And down throw, you were right on the ledge of the platform, so you couldn't combo. And uh, explosive oh, flame. You, saw That's all you see Venia reel back in his chair after that death. Like, he knew Emotional that. Emotional disadvantage. Oh, he messed up. Like, that was, cl like, you know. Jen just threw this combo. Flip. Oh my god. Gonna catch the counter right there, dealing. He actually only did 34 before that. Now 48. Did that nair do 15? That is the goddess symbol. You gotta respect that. What, the up air? Yeah. Is that like actually like her symbol? It's like her wings or something. Her the wings are her actual wings, wings, though. Those are her wings. Oh. Uh, She's got multiple wings. Of course. My, my apologies. Why would I not know that? I, I don't know either. I'm kind of making this up on the fly. Shut up, Ben. Stop, stop. <laughs> I'll just believe you. You, you like, play these games. I'll, I'll actually, take your word. Not right. again. There we go. Ben is definitely getting somebody explosive flame a lot. I think it's because he's tilted right now because he got hit you by the first so? one. So that's I why he's like running into how more. He, how he plays. He, he definitely goes for a lot of dash in baits. Yeah. Like, dash in, dash back is definitely... But he's been doing weird. he's been doing a good job of avoiding them in the previous games. So yeah, that's why I'm but saying, I, like... I would say most players... Like at this level of play, are maybe depending on what character you play, are getting hit with one, yeah. like a set. Then he's got lost a, a couple times. They were just like not even like positions where, like you were trapped in your recovery, just kind of like using them. I don't know. But now Jen landing that neutral air has one stock away from moving on to losers final or yeah, he's grand got a, finals. He's got a pretty chunky lead right now. Yeah. Is that just safe? Did he have to hold that no way, right? Uh, it, uh, that that shield option is a little sus, you know? Yeah, that definitely was a little sus. He was facing around, though, so he should have been able to back air. I want to see a... Uh, I haven't seen, like, a nice Venia combo in a while where he back air ladders you. Yeah. He pretends he's DSS for a second, but he uses side B at the and end. I think that's happening because Venia's playing more cautious against Jen this time around. He's not He's not going all balls to the walls like he usually does. It is pretty common when you see <laughs> Venia, like, super respecting his opponent. Like, he respects Jen and players of that caliber. Yeah. His, his play can degrade some time when he's not um, completely in the zone. Because I feel like he doesn't play to his, his style. Yeah. He doesn't play to his pace. Right now, this pace is being dictated by Jen. Going to land that back air out of the edge. My boy Jen moving on to grand finals. Rising his way. A place that he's comfortable. Yeah. He's used to it. And Ultimate. On a, the the last time well. they played, you know, Venia also got the, the L. So Jen is definitely uh, taking getting that down For, low. When was the last time Venia beat Jen? That was two, three weeks ago. Oh, he beat him recently. Okay. Yeah. It, it was Jen recent. was on a bit of a streak for Zeno's not yeah. too long ago. Mm -hmm. and he was that, was, that was when the pieces from the ceiling fell. Yeah. Yeah. Remember? Because uh, yeah. like uh, we, we made that joke. Yeah, but I was making. It, I was just trying. You're to just remind reminding you. us. Yeah. So because like uh, Jen, <laughs> Jen, I actually beat him in winners finals and grand finals that that tournament too. Double so eliminated. That was double Never eliminated. Fun. So that's the first win. But now we're gonna take a trip down to loot. Yeah. How long ago? John looks so young. How the times have changed. He yeah, looks dude. exactly the same. When you yeah, talk, I, he literally looks exactly the same. One, Nothing has changed. Uh, Mystery versus Frozen. He has. I don't know if Frozen has beaten E. I know E has beaten Frozen. Have they fought? Yeah, they have. I know E has beaten Frozen. It might only be been once, though. So How long ago was it? It was, you know, a couple months ago. Okay. He wound up going E2 that set, I remember. But right now, Frozen 
trying to show us that he's the one who deserves to be on top. Yeah, really wait, hold on. Putting yeah. the mix on right now. Yeah, Mystery not finding any sort of like openings here for a second. Now, Mystery has been one of those players. I, I mentioned this before. He uh, he struggles to find he struggled to find his opening in Ultimate in the very beginning, right? Because he wasn't really doing so hot. He even in Smash Four has always been an an inconsistent player. Yeah, he, he has he's highs an and lows. I hate that. I hate that hitbox. Oh. Luigi? No. Not Luigi. Yeah, we, <laughs> Every multi hit you pull out is just Luigi. Yeah. That could be it. No double jump. Finds the snap that is so long. But I was going to say, um, he's won Aeons before that were like, had people at attendance, weren't free. But he's also gotten like, drowned in pools. Yeah. Already. Which, like, I like it. CE succeed. He's one of the most fun players to watch in this game. I agree. This dude swings. Look at that movement. Don't take him to Smash. <laughs> yep. oh, and, uh, and honestly, last week he got second place. So that, yeah, his best placement so far mm -hmm. at Xeno. Was that? Yeah. He yeah. He's yet, never right? won yet. Because like, he's, he's barely gotten like fourth at Xeno. So like, for him getting second last week was a... That's pretty good, yeah. It was a so, shocker, honestly. Because like in Ultimate, he has not gotten How was the Xeno last week? Was it Ray one, right? Yes, Ray Was Jen here? No, Jen was absent. Was Venia here? Yes. Okay. Venia got ninth, Venia, right? Venia got Rough ninth week. or seventh. I forget. Got ninth. He didn't do so hot. That's a rough week. But uh, I was guaranteed top three, so. Mm -hmm. Frozen, uh, is that going to be it? No, I was going to fall out of the side B. Not as reliable as it was in Smash 4. In Smash 4, you were always getting hit by Dancing Blade. Oh, yeah. Very nice call. Oh, uh, tilt. Uh, Lucina has a pretty good initial dash, so we're going to be able to cover those options quite nicely. And the up tilt right out of there covers a lot of options in front and behind, yes. as well as above. It just, like, literally, that no matter where you are. That crazy in this game. Yeah. It, it is like a circle. It's a giant arc. Grounded Smash 4 Cloud Nair. Yeah. Honestly, the best comparison I can Yeah, come up that's with. really good. I, that, I never thought about it like that. That's really good. There's that cancel bear. Not going to find it. Missing foot. I'm stealing that. Okay, no problem. Yeah. I'm, I'm <laughs> copywriting it, though. You're copywriting it? Yeah, yeah. Every okay. time you say it, yes, it goes. Okay. Brought to you in part by D next. Uh, every time I say it, I'll mention your name. No doubt. Oh, what was that? DI? I'll call it the bow up tilt. <laughs> Luigi. Not quite. Honestly, yeah, that, that's really smart of mystery <gasps> to start. The parry. No pummels. Come on. Pummel. Uh, Take the damage. Especially in this game, you get a lot of pummels in this game. Yeah, uh, I've been noticing that a lot compared to like the previous game. Is a lot of people have been pummeling a lot more. Yeah, at like 100 in Smash 4 with good mash, you were getting out after one pummel. Yeah. Like the crazy good mashes could do that. Wow, barely killing off the top. Yeah. Di slightly shush. And I think it helps because the players blink yellow, and so like you know when you know where they're gonna get out. out. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Like you know, like you're at 150 in this game, you can pummel five times. Yeah. And unless they have the most insane mash possible, they're getting hit. Okay, we're gonna get the combo started from yeah. Palu. has been going for a lot of dolphin slashes to interrupt these combos as like anti combos. That's you know? an E classic. Yeah. Matching out uh, in the air, it's frame one DP. Mm -hmm. Frame one invincibility. That exactly. Is super strong. Meanwhile, you don't really seem to go for up air as a way to like diffuse the situation, which is more safe in my opinion. Lucina? Ooh, yeah. You're gonna find that S smash though. Put himself back in the game. Lucina, insane burst comeback potential. So definitely can't be counting E out. Yeah, I, uh, this is anyone's game in my opinion. Like mystery could easily. Close that distance. Yeah, one edge guard, one stock. Lucina has crazy damage output. Okay, a little bit too far away for that forward smash to okay. connect. Gonna punish that whiff to grab. Hold on a sec. Putting him in the blender. But there. The yeah. supreme chopper. They're not sure about that grab. Like he was already in the air. There okay. we go. Forward throw pushes him off. 66%. E, I liked how E feigned uh, the very deep edge guard with the back air. Yeah. Oh, that's it! That's all Mystery needed. Gets the one shield breaker, goes for the fully charged forward smash, and takes the game. That boy's dead. I told you, like, that, as long as it's in the same stock, it's anyone's game. And that's not just Mystery, that's anyone. That was such a good bait, too. He did the jump back B reverse um, shield breaker. Yeah. Normally, you would you would uh, expect the back air there. And uh, Lucina, Marth, Krom, Roy, all their backers, you have to ex respect insanely hard because they are super powerful. What's and, and interesting about Mr. E's gameplay is in past tournaments, I feel like he spams Shield Breaker. Like, he, he, he likes using he it as a way to... I wouldn't say spam. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, I've seen Marth just spam Shield Breaker. Yeah, you're straight. right. He, he uses it a lot it's like uh, as a way to, like, recover to get back on stage or a way to just uh, force the opponent to respect it. Yeah, but it, he, in this tournament... Not as much. He, he, this is that's the only time he used it, and it caught yeah. Frozen off guard. It did, yeah. And he uses it in a situation where you would normally always shield. You're always yeah. going to shield the that, that's landing good. aerial. That, that was good conditioning. Okay, Lucina. Oh no, jump! This is going to be a lot of damage. Yeah, he's going to find his way. I, I like 52 is still a lot, bro. Yeah, like. you're right. 
Okay, was that a fake teleport cancel? Yes. That is way too many levels deep for me. <laughs> That's Mensa. Mensa squared. Yeah, people who play against Frozen a lot, uh, he teleport cancels like more than any other player, and it becomes a mind game on. Uh, is he gonna do it or is not? Is he gonna do it or not? And you start like randomly f smashing the ground somewhere, yeah. <laughs> and you're like, "What are you doing?" <laughs> and you're like, "You would understand." From so. from 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 a spectator's point of view. What a call out! I'm sorry. The hard read what? on he sitting there not doing anything Wh pays off with what dividends. The that was so smart. <laughs> Who does that? Frozen was looking a little shook at the start of this game. Now finding himself in a pretty good spot with that crazy read. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, on just one F smash away, bring this to like that a be two stock. It. Dancing Blaze pushing him off enough. pretty far. Trump, there, we go. there it is. Feeling like Smash 4. Yep. Kapow King's jab, doing a cool 18. Ooh, I, I got a little like arc there too. Angling it downwards. Yep. Oh my god. Almost, almost. Ooh, Delay the up air a little bit too long. You're able to get that shield up and ready. Uh, similar situation to what we saw last game. Frozen definitely had a nice lead in this situation, but uh, E obviously able to make this super nice comeback. See if he can pull it off again this game. Now, Frozen uh, has won a Xeno, right? In, in the he past won weeks. Uh, three weeks ago, two weeks ago. Two? No, we weren't at Xeno two weeks. Nope. We were? Regardless, Maybe. he won a Xeno recently in yeah. the past month. Yeah. So, you know, he definitely wants to get back up there and try Frostbite. to win his second one. It was one. Frostbite week. Right, yeah, yeah, that's, that's what it was. Won. Free Xeno. But. <laughs> don't tell me wow. I mean, he's going to listen to the VODs, I assume. Yeah, no, I can say it about it. Who knows? All right, there we go. I called him out on it already. But, anyways, he wants to win another one, I assume. He wants to, he wants no, to be one he, of those. He wants, to, he wants fourth of this, you know. I, I talked to him. Yeah? Yeah, only fourth. Okay. I'm done building that story. Uh, two stocks of. <laughs> Uh, we got Frozen setting up this ledge trap. Not gonna find anything though. Let's just see stroll on over to center stage. Let the tables turn on him. Nice. What a. That was a great call out. Yeah, it was. I really caught me off guard. Punch him. Okay. Uh, uh, Grab release again. He getting greedy on the pummels. Yeah. I mean, he just wants the damage, dude. You can pummel a lot, but throwing gives you more damage. Yeah. No, 100%. So just. You, oh. oh, the run up up tilt, bro. Oh. Gonna, uh oh. That, that was that was so that, that was so, so crazy epic. it froze the game for a sec. That epic DBZ moment yeah. froze the game. Yeah. Uh, so he clutching out that second stock. Let's see if he can uh, find this extra credit. Yeah, Doing a little bit of work right now. But Frozen just needs one grab, one neutral air. Uh oh. Oh, that's really bad. Okay, he lets him back up. Yeah. E pressuring really well with these nares. Got him at the ledge. This could be it. Oh, rolls in. No S smash. Yeah, you're, gonna, you're gonna see a lot of dash attacks come from Frozen at this point. That's nice actually back airs, you're gonna see. Yeah. And Nair's. Neutral air, there we what go. What are we saying? Get, get the, the move. kill. The one move to Nair, rule the ball. Nair, dash attack, back air, grab, all four of those would have gotten the kill. Yeah, Palu definitely throws that her safe neutral buttons to end stocks, and it is infuriating. Okay, but Mr. E, e is starting the to mix. move. When he gets advantage, he's dealing a solid 50, yeah. 60 percent every time. <laughs> oh, that like was a whiff died. Trump. You know Mystery wanted to Trump off of yep. that. Oh, Frozen with a super hard read on the down air. Eris Fuzzing with one of his own, but both players are going to miss right there. Moving to the other side. Going across town. Okay, forward throw. Push him off stage. 128% on Frozen. Can't call it out. You saw him walking? Okay, he's putting him in the mix. Are we going to get anything? The down throw messes up his conversion, though. Okay, Just so that's a jab. Grab a jab Goes for a super deep edge guard again. Frozen definitely getting a little antsy trying to get this stock. Okay, mash. Neutral air, 77. He had it. He's going to miss it. How did he not? Punch? So many pals charging these smash attacks and I mean, not he had landing that. They're just. They're not, they're not landing that again. it, though. What is he doing? They're stuck in that. Oh, God. There it, we yeah. go. Back air out of the jump. Mystery taking it with a 2 to 0 victory. Frozen's going to go down with a fourth place Solid finish. Push. Top five at Xeno is always impressive. Like, yeah. if, you, if you got fifth at Xeno, it means you lost to two strong players. Class players. People yeah. who are. You expect to see top thirty. People who would get 65th at Frostbite, yes. 65th at Frostbite feels bad. I think that's what... No, Frozen got 49. Oh, okay. Respect Is for you next week. Make good choices. What does that mean? It means make... What, what do you think it means? It means I'll see you later. Make good choices while you're gone. Okay, bet. I'll be back next week. Okay, bye. Get you up on the mic. Okay, uh, it's been a pleasure. I hope you don't have to solo cast. Uh, I'll try I'll, to find I'm going to solo cast. It's fine. Okay. I got it. You have a good one, man. Unless Peace Bars is here or something.
Bye. Make your choices. All right, here we go. Uh, final test. <laughs> Back with final destination here for losers of finals. Mr. E representing the Lucina. Venia already off to a fantastic start with that counter, trying to push Lucina super deep, going for that trade instead. Now, this is the matchup. You know, we saw last week, I'm pretty sure uh, Mr. E beat Venia last week, if I'm not mistaken. Actually, I don't remember. But regardless, you know, Venia's going to take away that first stock. These guys used to fight each other all the time back in the Smash 4 days, but now we got him coming up with the ultimate. Instead, now right off the gate, you know, Venny is going to be looking for these neutral airs with Greninja. Really good for just getting those combos started. Able to get a lot of damage off of it. Didn't get too much off of that one, maybe because of the rage. Might have messed up his little uh, little follow ups a little bit. Went for a very greedy counter, but managed to get the uh, tech off of the Dolphin Slash. Expecting the uppie coming out from Mystery as he dashes off stage. A very strong option for Lucina. Forward air is going to be really good at applying shield pressure to the opponent as he tries to fade away backwards. Extremely safe. Going for the pressure. Tries to follow up the double jump. Didn't expect the fast fall. Goes for the down throw forward air. Great trade in Venia's favor. Now they're just exchanging forward air, trying to outspace each other, but Venia's pushing off it yet again. 94%. Struggling to find his way back down onto the stage. It's going to be an up throw into a kill. Yes, sir. Mystery taking away the first stock from Venia. A lot of cross-ups coming up. Venia, Greninja's dash attack, really great at crossing up opponents that are holding down that shield button. Able to kind of mix up, it makes it a little bit more tough for the opponents to try to get a punish afterwards as they have to go for the turnaround in the game. Up oh, tilt gonna catch a landing Mr. E. Tries to go for the follow-up with the second up air. Manages to ca call out the air dodge, expecting Venia to get a little bit aggressive with the jump, just opted to stay patient instead before getting that young, that young kill. Benny's going to be sitting at 69. Going to hold on to that rapid jab. Only 11 frames before Mystery can go for that roll right behind his opponent before going for that little bit of a follow-up. There we go. Some more damage. Some more big damage. Joining me here on the mic, it's your boy, Gretch. How you doing, sir? Yeah, I'm doing good. We're talking about big damage right here. I'm going to add some big damage to this commentary. Let's awesome. do it. Let's go. I, I, I like that follow-up. I like that. <laughs> it was okay. Here we go. Now he for set on Venia. Okay, so we're on game one. One stock here for Mr. E. Good to see him in losers finals again after, mm. like you were talking about, I think it was, was it two weeks ago? Last week. Yo! Call him out. Get the back air. Oh my you god. Got it. You got it. We hit up B into back air call out. That was actually really smart. Um, or good reactions. Or both. Yeah, honestly, all, all of the above. All of the, <laughs> all of the above. A, B, or C. I'm yeah. D. I'm D. All of the yeah, above. SAT test, man. Yeah. We go dash stack <laughs> into that forward air. Hold on. He's seeing at 123%. Ooh. They could have okay. put him into a bad position, but he, Dolphin Slash covers so much like distance. He's playing the SAT, man. He knows all about biology. He knows this yeah. amphibian can spray that water, but still living. He also knows how to DI. Yeah. That's on the tech. Oh, oh, well. Yo, that was smart. I, I'm sure I'm shocked that he didn't go for a second hydro pump to push him off while he was in that fall, uh, fast fall animation. Free uh, fall. The thing about that is that that's kind of hard to react to, and if he'd gone to it, it would have killed his ledge get up. Right. So I'm not surprised, but that was a very smart call out for me. A risky one, but it paid off. So good call. Up throw? Oh, uh, not oh. enough. He probably needs a little bit more. If he gets a grab now. Oh, that's it. Yeah. yeah, there it is. Just splash him a little bit. That's why I was expecting the first time, but that time he had all of the time in the world mm -hmm. to go for that. So Venya's going to be taking away game number one from Mr. E. All right. So uh, I haven't had too many eyes on the bracket today. How have we been looking so far? It's been looking good, man. A lot a lot of uh, uh, Palutena's are rest in peace. Uh, Topian Ray going down with the fifth place. We got uh, uh, Frozen going down fourth. But Jen is still sitting in Grand Finals. So Jen, pretty dominating uh, winner's final set against uh, Venya. So you know he definitely wants that run back. But same thing with Mystery. They both lost to Jen in the winner's side of the bracket. So this, again, we see this a lot. But this is a battle of who can try to get the run back against the, the winner. I see. Uh, a game with no gods but one master, Palutena, at Jen. Grand Finals. We'll see who gets that spot. And honestly, uh, even well, Venya, I'd say, took a fairly commanding game one from what I've seen. Uh, Mystery is... Absolutely, not going to come out B reverse of B, and that is kind of risky. Yeah, extremely. All right. Fair. Gonna call him the aggression. Again. Challenging him off stage. Mr. E, so here's the thing, right? Mr. E, sometimes he goes for these aggressive stuff. I don't know if he's still doing a whole bunch of up B reversals, but he just, like, goes ham in ways that would be like, no. 
E? Mr. E going ham on me, Grinnin. Yeah, he yeah. would not. He would me never. Me mashing? <laughs> he doesn't. He, look oh at that. My God. Who else does that? Who does that? And honestly, from that, Venia could have recovered, but I think that was a little bit of a flub. He wasn't ready. Yeah. Nobody goes that deep and just dolphin slash up these. Well, back he into the he stage. he was ready because he did get the tech at the, but it, he wasn't true. ready to be like directly centered underneath Smashville. That's true. I feel you're right. He could have come back, but still, that's an awkward spot to go. Oh, I'm at the the bottom of Smashville. Yeah. What a wonderful place. Let's let's go back to the game and find some real estate. Mm -hmm. Although still manages to take the stock back pretty quickly. Uh, that was a good running forward uh, forward tilt. That's nice. Yeah. To pick up the combo there. I'm shocked they didn't go for a Dancing Blade. Uh, dancing Blade is one of the most optimal ways for uh, tech get-ups. Because mm -hmm. if you miss timing, you can just keep swinging. Yep, absolutely. And it is also good for traps like that. Uh, Rekka style move, uh, typically good for that sort of thing. Uh, goes in. Mystery playing extremely careful to get back to the stage safe and sound. Mm -hmm. As Ballsy as Mr. E can be. Yo, he parries the water. Yes, sir. There's no reward off of that, but that's well, style. Honestly, it was just an axe thing. You know, he's just letting go of shield to like, follow up so the parry just come out naturally. Even if it's an accident, it's a stylish accident. Yeah. Mr. E is all about playing for the people. He goes for that stuff. All right. All right. One of the grab follow up. Just goes for the downer out of the short hop. Instead, has about 113%. Trying to go for the call out. Ooh, Ooh. That, was, no, that was an intentional What did I parry. say? That was what an did intentional. I say about Mr. E? There you go. He is. Oh. Just get that get that kunai out of here, man. Let me ask you. You're in bracket. Ask me. Yeah, Let okay. me ask you. You're in bracket. I'm in bracket. Some man's holding a forward smash at kill percent at ledge on you. You say, he's going to let go now. I'm going to parry this. Who yeah. does that? Mr. E does, man. I mean, Who does uh, that honestly, that's a top player mentality. You'll see <laughs> so, someone like Light doing that, too, you know? And Light's losers, the king of parries. Loser's oh final, my. no less. That was going to be a spike for a second. Wait a sec. Mystery Yo. starting to steal momentum from Venny after such a devastating game. Yo! What? Just call out the counter. Get the forward smash. Don't even need a tipper. I'm Lucina, not Marth. Game number two going to Mr. E. Mr. E is so on fire, he's got me hype. I'm burning back here. Yeah. Woke my ass up. Let's, let's, let's see that counter one more time. Yo. Right, because Mr. E playing. That was so yeah. brave. Now, this one, this time around, Mr. E was just playing extremely patient. Just knocks him off. Doesn't want to commit. Waits to see what he's going to do. Yeah. Oh. You saw him even ready up the shield just in case he's going to swing because he let go of shield to try to get anticipation of a parry. Yes. A, a, a potential parry, but saw a down B coming out from Venia. A little uncharacteristic from him, too, to just go for a counter like that randomly as he's trying to get back on stage. Could have been a little bit flustered, just trying to go for a gambit. Perhaps. You also got to remember that because he had grabbed the ledge once, uh, he had no re-grab invincibility. Oh, um, that, I didn't even recognize that. Yeah, yes. that, that's smart. So uh, with that, Mr. E definitely had uh, the advantage in that state. Venya bet it on the counterattack, and it did Lost. Yeah. Yes. So, so it, it, even if he didn't go for the counter, like if it was a retaliation, like Mr. E was at the ready with that potential parry, you know? Mm -hmm. So he, he was just kind of a lose lose situation the second that down tilt connected. That's often, uh, I've heard a couple of top players say, uh, and I agree, that when you get really good at this game, the top players and the top characters, they put you into a lot of situations and you just have to pick the lesser of all those evils. Yeah, the lesser of two evils. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So, Mr. E walling out pretty well here, holding control of the stage, even with a bit of a percent deficit. Now, Kalos Pokemon League is a pretty strong stage for Greninja. It allows him to be able to do uh, a faint recovery like he just did. Mm -hmm. and went back and forth, laying back down on that platform, as well as be able to cling to the wall like he just did. Yes. Very Ooh. strong option to do. And, you know, you get that setups as well. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Clean play from Venya. And then, uh, is that a platform cancel when he does that with the water? Because I'd seen it, but I was... Uh... No. So, back in the day before the patch, uh, Venya was... Uh, Greninja was able to do platform cancels on moving platforms, like Town and City or Lilat. Oh. Or, I, I think Lilat. Uh, Lilat if it was non the non-hazardous version. Mm -hmm. But, um... Ever since the patch, he's no longer able to do that, so there's always going to be lag. Right. Okay. Cancel there. Good job. Falling of up air. Playing extremely patient, waiting to see what Venya's gonna do first, reacting instead of acting. Mm -hmm. And Venya good at both in these scenarios. Oh my, what is that Ooh, angle? That was a dish. Ugh. That was a nasty <laughs> angle. I feel a little sick watching yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that, uh, I'm in geometry, but they sent me AP calculus yeah. level angles. Yeah, like, no, why, no, why no, is no, this on the test? But here we go. That's gonna be uh, second, the first stock from Venia being uh, destroyed. Let's see if Mystery can try to bring this back slowly. He's got a slight percentage lead, so it's not too big of a deal unless you get Good. called out. Yo, and that kill. 
Damn. I mean, he charged it. He did. That was like half charge. Even then, I was like, no, nah, no, nah, that looks like he'll make it with the eye, but straight up angle, man. Uh, sweet spot up smash, calling out mystery, swinging, mashing buttons. Mm -hmm. So about one stock even behind. Good dancing blade to cover the roll there. All right. That was actually a good call out with the up air, but just barely whips it over on the platform. We had the right read, but the wrong position. Uh, that was a straight punish. I'll call out on that though. Some more up airs, some more forward airs. <clears throat> All right. Ooh! Calls him out immediately That's with yet rough. another forward smash. Venny is going to take a clean 2 1 victory over Mystery. He's going to move on to Grand Finals to try to get some sort of revenge against Jen, but we'll see if he can actually manage to put a point on the board because the past three sets they fought, Jen has had the victory. So let's see if fourth time's the charm. Is this the first time? that these two have played in Grand Finals since uh, that one time a couple weeks ago. Yes. When you did the interview with Jen. Yeah, it's <laughs> only March, man. Come on, no, man. Uh, I know, 2019 I know. just started. I know. It's going to be over before we know it, man. But speaking of over before we know it, got out of that set real quick. We're going back to the run back. Jen versus Venya. So these guys, both very confident players. Uh, I know if you can ask both, you've heard Jen's word. He feels he's got New York number, and Venya himself feels he's one of, if not the best player in New York. So we'll see how this matchup plays out right now. Catches him with 61% off the bat at the SD. That's, right. You don't want to see that happen, because that's you're technically giving a zero death to Jen right there, because he had a lot of control. And you're saying how he has a New York's number, because that's what Jen has said in that past interview. He's definitely got Venya's number right now. Mm -hmm. Gets see if you try to bring it back. Now, here's the thing, though. Venya, uh, he's quite, I think, the emotive player when he really gets tilted. Like, right now, you saw him. He said, okay. He nodded. He took it. He's yeah. ready to come back. It's nothing to him. That, so that, that's a good composer. That's the Venya I like to see. Because there are some, some times where I've seen Venya SD, and you know he like rolls his eyes, reels back in his chair. That, he, that was just a nod. He understood mm -hmm. that he cannot lose composure this early on in the set. Absolutely not. And that's honestly the sort of mentality that keeps you through not just Yo. not just through uh, grand final sets, but through tournaments, which is quite exhaustive. We've been here since, I think, 7 o'clock, 7.30? Yeah, five hours ago. Yep. Ooh, kills him off the top right there. And 74% is not that too bad to sit on, but we'll see how it goes off. Dash stack, a great option for catching landings. Mm -hmm. uh, recovers high, a bit risky over there, but calls out a commitment on Jen's part. Jen's starting to move. Mm -hmm. See, now Jen's going for little hits of aggression here because I believe Venya is a bit too high to get Nair trained at this point, but he's still sitting on about Nair train percent. Mm. Trying to look for those glancing hits and play a little bit passively. Wrong direction for the auto reticle. That is a clean punish scenario. There's out. That was a good response from Jen, just going oh. to the digital melee. Explosive flame going to delete Venya's second stock. Yep. Definitely a tool you have to watch out for. Um, not something that you see pulled out too much on stage, actually. But Jen makes that rare call, and it does hit its mark. All right. We're still moving here. Hold on. Mm -hmm. Yep, Venya definitely do is not one to stay still when he's in a position like this. He likes to keep himself moving. All right. Pushes him over, calls out the retreat and the air dodge. Smart stuff, Venya. Right. Bring it back. Even though he SD'd immediately on, and that was technically a zero death, we're still we are at a pretty even game with Venya actually taking the lead, but in terms of percentage, mm -hmm. looking very good right now. All right, opens him up with the dash attack. B -B that the was an accident. B. Yeah, you know he wanted to try to splash him, mm -hmm. mix it around. You don't see that happen too often from Venya too. Yep. Still doesn't lead to too much percent. Doesn't get hit with any crazy combos on that one. Only picks up 16. Although the disadvantage is where he's yeah. really starting to pay for that. That also looked like an accidental wall cling, and Jen just capitalized with a down tilt. All right. Tries to get him with the meaty down tilt, but doesn't quite get anything off of it. I like the fadeaway forward airs, trying to keep Jen at, at bay. 54%. Okay, right. Another Very back good. air. Back air. Low commitment. The reward. Tries to trump him, but just misses on the timing. That actually might have been stuck at that point. I think so, actually. Right. Pulls Venya, recovers high, warp, very difficult to counter if you're not on stage ready for the punish. Uh, trying to hard, do a hard call out with that up smash. Venya just going for a quick punish instead, parrying the dash attack. Mm -hmm. Thought he was going to recover to the left, that's why he just threw out the explosive flame for free. Yep. All right. And Goes just chases over. after him. Playing a game attack. Oh, honestly. that is a very unsafe explosive flame. Yeah. Holding shield was the right call there, but if he hadn't, that would have been a full punish. Yeah, Venya just would have dashed in, would have been over. You could have charged forward smash, honestly, on reaction to that even. There All we right. go. 
Right, going a little bit more aggressive with the movement from Jen. Oh my gosh, Death Attack will take it. And honestly, you saw Jen playing aggressive because Vinny was playing an extreme keep away game near the end of that set mm -hmm. for that game. Yes. So he, had, he had to like chase after his foe. He did. And even if you play a defensive character, uh, part of the mentality, the, um, I guess, metagame of playing a keep away, of playing a mid range, you got to get on me character, is when you go aggressive. When you come in and Palatina has the movement speed to surprise people with that sort of stuff. Like, oh, you know, Nair normally low percent, so that's fine. Nair at 100? Dash attack after you're playing back like this. So that's the way to keep it mixed up. Going over to game two. Well, speaking of keeping things mixed up, man, like the tournament results are a little mixed up last week with uh, because Jen wasn't here, we had a new winner. But now that Jen's back, it looks like he might just be the winner yet again. Is he our new like static champion here? As you know, because there was a time when Venny was winning a lot, and there was a time when Sinji was winning a lot. So now is it is it Jen's time to shine? Well, if they go back and forth like that so much, can it be a static champion? Because I feel there is rarely a time where someone doesn't have to work to make the results. Either. Yeah, the competition is always fierce. Now, yeah, but Jen is playing extremely well. Has yet to drop a set since like like I said, since two weeks ago, he has not dropped a set. Ooh! There we go. Venny is starting to make him work for it, though. Yep, he will drop to the stuffed animal to sneak by. There you go. All right. <laughs> there we go. Gotta, we got gotta drop a rhyme every now and then. Yeah, I feel it. Yeah. All right, here we go. Jen jumping right. up with a neutral air has him at 104%. Yep, and you'll see what, what I'm talking about there. Venny trying to space out a little bit because he doesn't want to aggress on Palutena too much. Palutena with the dash attack and the back air invincibility on shield. And then Jen takes advantage, runs in with the Nair to get him back off stage for that. All right, playing back once again, spacing out with Bear. Pushing out, and just trying to feel the range. Oh, reground, but does get the tech. All right. Ooh, drop shield. I'm not sure if he was trying to pair for that or if he was trying to roll. Let's see. All right. Trying to play extremely for, patient, just goes for the dash attack instead. Goes for the shadow sneak, that will loosen the stage control for the moment. Buzz, get back. Ooh, my god, that hit really high. All right. All right. Taps him with the shuriken, lets him know he's not getting back for free. He's taking a little bit of percentage at a time. Dash attack killing with its angle. Yeah, I think it's starting to tilt Venny just a little bit. You know, the dash, I mean, it could be, it could be a struggle. To get hit by uh, such a quick burst option that has like block frames on it, as well as the ability to kill at that little percent, so it, it, it can be frustrating. I understand. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And he's throwing out. Ooh. There we go. Down tilt to forward air. Mm -hmm. So we've had one kill through the back of the screen, and now we got one at the top of the screen. Yes, sir. We are dealing with a lot of broken glass. Devin, I'm sorry for all the property damage, but it's all gone for. <laughs> there we go, Vinia. Right. Yo, chases it. Yeah, I mean, he was he was expecting like the roll to the, he was hoping for a roll to the left. Yo, runs right under the explosive flame. If you do manage to get over explosive frame, go right for Palutena. She is heavily punishable. On this. Just like that. There we go. Show up, smash. Try to go for the shadow sneak off stage to call him out. Ooh. Gets the spike as Jen calling calling out Venya hardcore with that recovery. As now, this could be a chance for Jen to take home this tournament. This, this has gone from, uh, man, Venya looks like he's got this, too. This is scary. Yeah. They've still got 100% off, but at low percents like this, Palutena can convert fairly well. Yeah, keep in mind, in this grand finals, it is a best two of three set because we have work in the morning, and we, we got to go home and sleep. Mm -hmm. yeah. Two of three, although if Jen does take this, takes it. If Venya takes it, goes to game three, takes it again, we do get the bracket reset. There we go, Venya trying to poke that shield a bit. All right. Spacing out with Ferris right here. He's just trying to clip him and get that kill. Jen playing it very patient. He's got three and a half minutes to do it. Good job on the Nair. Too high of a percent to get anything off of it though. Still living. Yep. Venya falling, falling super deep for that recovery. Yep. There's no need to hurry right now. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, Benny yep. just playing it safe, playing cautiously, waiting for Jen to commit to that first button because he has to. He technically has a strong percentage lead. Mm -hmm. And Venya's going to bring this to a game three situation. Like you said, if Venya takes home this next game, we have a reset bracket in a moment because my man's coming from loser's side of the bracket. But we got a counterpick coming out from Jen going to Smashville.
Mm -hmm. We see him with the uh, Battlefield and the Lilac Band, which I assume is to keep Palutena's combo game early percents in check, although I'm not certain. And then Smashville, I assume, uh, shortest stage distance, less distance for him to get on. on uh, Ninja, yeah, and that middle platform is also really strong for getting neutral air combos in the middle of the stage, as well as going for those teleport cancels. That, that's that's Smashville is like one of her one of her best stages. Okay, oh, jab good. reset. Hey, I like how he ended that because normally you see people go for those ja jab blocks with like a final like a smash attack or something, but he just went for the down tilt forward air combo. Like, that, that was smart. He was still in conversion percent for down tilt, so yeah. Definitely, he's probably lived that out, found out. Best percentage on that one. Okay, traps him with an air. That's good. Working this percentage back with the stray hits, my god. All right, this is out with Falling Bear. All right, good with Punish. Yo, that's gonna take the stock yeah. early. Then he's starting to level up here. The adaptation could be potentially happening. Mm -hmm. Not only that, although he's picked Smashville, smallest stage means that uh, if Venya does want to get in, he can get in on Palutena easier. Uh, so, kind of running over him a little bit now. 55% goes for another down ever challenges it with landing there. Yeah, you gotta jump over that shuriken real quick. Right. Runs up, dash attacks, has him at 88%. Try to follow up with that up air. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, no. That's not going to look good. Vinny is going to take that and run it with a mile. I, honestly, this is looking like a bracket reset. It just might be. But we can't count Jen out just yet, even though this is going to be a test of patience and a very, very risky one. Yeah, I think you can do it. See, he's still going for stuff like that. If you are in an afraid mentality, you don't want to go for a parry on something like that and risk getting knocked off stage again. But Jen is prepared to do what it takes to take these stocks, get in there, and end this thing early. He wants to get that sleep, man. Yeah. Honestly, Sam. <laughs> there we I go. Don't blame him. Venya, yep. 140 percent. Gets the grab. Gets the confirm. Yes, right, sir. Nice. You saw him trying to jump out of that situation, but that was looking true. Mm -hmm. Uh, instant reverse aerial. I'm not sure if it's a true follow-up for a kill. Oh, um, it, it's strong. It like, is very strong. Definitely getting caught on that. But here we go. Venya with two stocks left. Still, it's an incredibly pretty unless Venya, Jen like turns up the gears or something. Yep. And you do remember, though, last game we were looking pretty similar until uh, Jen gets that spike. And Palutena does have a lot of tools similar with that with surprising the kill power. Tries to go for the jab reset, but wrong side. Yeah, he definitely would have done the exact same thing that he did previously. Try to go for the two jabs and the down tilt. When you drag someone down like that, you get two free jabs before having the force to go for a third quick option or try to read their like tech roll. Mm -hmm. Alright, putting on the ledge pressure. Good job with the up tilt there. That actually low profiles would make it very difficult to challenge. Good job wow. with the shadow sneak. No death though. Ooh. Still alive. The water and he dash attacks up from a normal getup. Jen playing, no fear. Okay, just spamming those dash attacks. Here we go, down tilt into forward error. Potential edge guard for Venia. Throws Actually, out the shuriken. Yeah, he dropped out of it. That was wacky. All right. And that was a great fadeaway. You saw him jumping to avoid the grab. Go for the fadeaway forward error. Gets the catch. Punishing the whiff grab. It takes us into the final set. True finals between Venia and Jen. Mm -hmm. We got the bracket reset going on. And looking like we're going to head over to PS2. Yep, Stop the there. We got Greninja coming back out. Honestly, I don't expect any sort of like character switches from these guys. Nah. To be Ven honest, Venia has age. been solidly uh, Greninja, and then I think Jen only has a Fox that he sometimes. Hold on, yeah. Yeah, I, he will not bust him out, but he does have a Fox. Yes. In this set, he will not bust out Fox. All right. All right. So snipes the warp with a little bit of warp. All right. Hitting him with the shield, bashing him down. Okay, so right. now we're playing on a Pokemon Stadium 2. You know, a fair starter. Palutena is a very comfortable stage for her. Greninja, or just Benny in general, just likes the stage. So you'll see this a lot for game one between yeah, these two. Absolutely. Um, for many people here, if not almost universally, a good uh, uh, gentleman stage, a good neutral starter in most people's opinions. So. What about place to start? Benny going uh, a bit more passive here and playing the range with those water shurikens. Oh, goes for the third up here, but nothing off of it yet. Yeah, I mean, Jen had to escape that combo by going for the double jump. Didn't want to try to play aggressive with that. Mm -hmm. You know, you got her uh, fight or flight instinct coming in. 
Yo, it's so wacky seeing Venya uh, space out with the shurikens here, because it's easy to forget with how fast and how disjointed uh, Greninja can be that he does have a projectile that he can zone with. Yeah. He says, you think I'm all aggressive? You think I can't play his own? It's something you gotta respect eventually, you know? Sure I can. Then he tosses it. <laughs> yes, sir. All right, here we go. Yeah. Venya? All right. Coming in with the dash attack. He's incredibly hungry for these dash attacks, you know, trying to get the cross-ups on shield. If he manages to connect it, it can lead into a free forward air afterwards. Absolutely. A very strong option at this point. And jumping only does so much when you meet Greninja in the air. Neutral right. air to forward air. Very strong option. All right. Knocks him off stage. All right. Retreating fair. Okay. Oh, back air will take it. Got super close to him, so even on the startup of Hydro Pump, you could easily just knock him out of the ballpark. Mm -hmm. Gen putting his double jump there, but Venya does not pursue a juggle. Okay. Playing out mid screen. I think too crazy right there. Does go for the whiff punish. So you got a lot of forward airs in the dash attack conversions twice in a row. Mm -hmm. Jen playing the right of range. Look at how often he's right outside of Venya's whip range, and then he comes back in for the punish on that. Oh, good call with the up threat. I want to talk about that down air for a second, because that, that that was really smart, because he recognized that Venya was trying to cross him up yet again mm -hmm. with the dash attack, so he just went for the option that covered like both sides in case he didn't go for the cross up, you know? So, uh, just yeah. smart gameplay. Absolutely. Although, even with that, it is very difficult to catch because of how low Greninja goes. But as far as tools go to catch mm -hmm. that, that don't have the commitment, down air was a good one. Very smart. Gets the jab reset, but he does tech. Jumping over. All right. So, oh, I Whoa. like the re let go of the grab to see what he's going to do. Or let go of the jab to see what he wants to do instead. Mm -hmm. Double jab pressure. Not too many characters have uh, plus jabs now on block especially. But Greninja's fast enough that he can weave him into his offense, try to bait out an option. There were some missed inputs there from Jen. He's probably, he definitely wanted to get that teleport cancel on the platform as well as try to like, let go of the, uh, drop down to the platform and get a follow-up afterwards. But so Benny is going to capitalize, get that stock. Be, one, be one more kill away from moving on to game two. Yep, chases him down, gets a clean 33% on this fresh stock. Jen looks like he's going to have to secure this early if he doesn't want to be too far behind, but... Palutena arguably not as great on the offense as she is on the defense. Double Shadow Sneak, okay. I feel it. All right. Dash attack, waiting to bait out an option because he doesn't have any true yes, follow to that percent. And Genji's just gonna mash out that dash attack just to get him off of his case. Yeah, at this point, you know, Jen, recognizing that Jen playing a little careful here, trying to reach out with her toe with the forward air. Play a little bit of a spacing game. Now, he doesn't want to commit to the neutral just yet until he sees Venya overextend a slightly bit. But again, Venya's going to, like you said, chill back, throw out the shurikens because he's got a comfortable lead here. Go for safe cross-ups like that. Just run past him with the neutral air. Yeah, but Jen with this spacing on the whip punish is there. Whip punish is the nair. Generally, oh, He fell no. out of the up smash. A little bit too far away for that second swing to, uh, the second hit of that hitbox to uh, confirm. That's unfortunate because he did have an excellent read on his get up mm. there. There it's in there on the shield. Want to go for a second back air instead? All right. Comes back into the nair. Does eat the forward air. Okay. We want that down air so bad to get that spike against Venia. He does. Chases him down. Greninja's movement speed a little faster on the ground than Palutena, so he can follow if she tries to run. All right. That was a super smart call to shield right away. Doesn't want to eat those fares. All right. We're Patience chilling. on the ledge. Ooh. That was a slick pivot grab from Venia. A little bit too high a percent, but yeah. it doesn't matter. Connects the down tilt into a forward error. Venia taking away game one of true finals. Mm -hmm. Tries to land with the Nair there to make it a little bit more safe, but Venya steps back, lets it whiff punish, gets the conversion, and follows up with the flare. Very smart and very patient. It's unusual to see him in this sort of keep away form. Normally Greninja is all about smothering, getting people to play at his pace, and then punishing them when they try to get on top of him. But it's good to see him like that. He plays it very well. Now we're going straight back to Pokemon Stadium 2. Again, very comfortable stage for Palu. One. And let's get it. All right. Yo, once again, low profiles the Nair. Parries? Okay. A, lot, a double parry coming out from Jen. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's time to crank it up, man. You, do, you definitely don't want to be losing to Venny, especially after that call out two weeks ago. You know? Oh, like, absolutely. There's a lot going on there. So yeah. if we get him in for the interview at this point, there's going to be some serious talk. Right, here we go. 81% on Venia. Yep. Threatens the edge guard right there, but goes right back. Trades with the forward tilt. 
footstool. <laughs> Accidentally footstool, man. Sometimes it just happens like that. Yep. And it's not too bad for either party just to return to neutral with Jen in the air, but Venya decides to keep to the ground and let it go back to middle straight. And you'll notice that uh, Jen's been doing a lot of forward airs in this matchup compared to like other matchups that he's been playing because it's like it's like the safer option almost because like she she extends her foot, you know. Mm -hmm. Now, um, doesn't get too much off of it though, like yeah. compared to like neutral air. I was going to say, so it would seem. Uh, I know uh, if you reverse bear. Speaking of reverse bear, runoff bear like that clipping while he was still on the platform. That was really tight. Good call. Um, I wouldn't actually know the difference uh, of what would make Fair better for the approach because I know Bear has the invincibility and I don't know if Fair yeah. is any faster, any uh, quicker. Honestly, he probably should be going for the Bear. Mm -hmm. But I uh, haven't been seeing it too often. Yeah. Although Bear, if you don't have the instant reverse, is more telegraphed. Mm. Bear could be better for the quicker option. Catches him on the warp, doesn't let him get away for free. Gregor gets back on the stage, goes for the explosive flame, forcing Venny to shield so he can try to close the distance a bit. Yep, goes for the trade there. Not a bad call at this percent. Ooh, Neutral air, air calls out the jump. Jen playing aggressive with that Nair. Lands with the down air right there. Coming off the platform. All right. Just barely gets in that area where the cross-up is ambiguous with the yeah. dash attack. Venya's spacing on that thing is fantastic. And once again, Venya hungry for these dash attacks because he knows if he lands that dash attack, it's going to be a free forward air into a death. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, Jen getting the platform chase there, but drops out the hits of Nair. Uh, not very often that you'll see that. Nair normally very consistent, but oh no. Goes for a hard read and does eat the punish for it. Down throw. Oh, go for the fourth throw instead. Trying to mix them up. Right. Apply shield pressures. Jen, uh, Venya has to respect it. Back here on shield. Venya Very going safe. A, a little heavy over there off stage, but completely understandable. He is a stock down and he wants to try to secure this before he racks up too much extra credit. Jen with the hard read, but doesn't quite get the punish. He's trying to catch these down tilts on the ledge as well. You see Venya trying to like recover the hydro pumps. Down tilt at the ready. Gonna just throw out some auto reticle action going on. All right. Playing out the middle ground. Neither of these guys necessarily wants to take a hit that will kill, but that will kill. That's all she wrote, man. It's sitting at 125% on Venya. Another wall clean just to kind of mix up how he's going to get back to the stage. He jumps out of there before it becomes a tech chase scenario, but that does leave him open to Venya's follow-ups. Jen is one dash stack away from taking home the stock. There it is. Oh, still going to be able to live in mid-stage. Mm -hmm. All right. Ooh, forward forward tilt. tilt, a very strong option for calling out the get up on the ledge because it's a long lasting hitbox, so you don't have to time it as well. So as long as you just get, know that he's going to do a neutral get up on the ledge, you can easily land that. And it kills. Yes, in fact, I'm not sure if that would have covered uh, all options because I'm sure neutral get up, uh, jump, probably not attack, maybe roll. And so. dash, Palatina's dash attack is really good at calling out aggressive recoveries. You saw yes. Venny going for that forward air a second time. He actually went for it a third time, so Jenna just would have kept it up. It just the dash attack just would have kept connecting, but he wanted to play safe that third time. Mm -hmm. Spacing out. Playing the middle range, Venya tossing out the fares here. There's no reason for Jen to approach at this point. He's got a hefty lead. Not only has he overlapped him, he's got he's playing extremely strong, but wait a sec. Mm -hmm. Venya trying Sends. to get this up smash. Yep. Jabs on shield. Jen says, no thank you. He's fine setting auto reticles over the fence. Oh, actually catches the roll. Still going to be able to live. Killed. Throws right. the shuriken right back in his face, tells him, I don't want it. Take back your order. That it is quite reactive. And he it's actually hard. avoided the explosive flame to get in there and take that stock. Venya, one stock away from taking home the tournament. Can he clutch this out, or is Jen going to take this to a game six situation? We will see. It's looking very close right now. And he does have him on the ledge. Grabs him. Looking at uh, more percent. Up air mix up. Yo, tries to go for the hard read, but doesn't pay off fully. All right. Now goes for the call out. He's been calling out Jen's retreats all set. All right. Here we go. Calling out the neutral air as well with the dash attack. Can we get a third up air? He wants it. Mm -hmm. Throws that a little bit too high in the air. Jen often go for the double jump instead to get back onto the stage safe and sound. You see him starting to foxtrot away from Venia. Doesn't want to get hit. Caught by the dash attack. Reads the air dodge a little bit too far away. Didn't guess where he was going to air dodge. Mm -hmm. Not that time. Going off Super Duke for the back air. Goes for the hydro up instead. Jen playing cautiously. Waits for the up B for the right moment to get the warp back onto the stage. Once the dash attack so bad. Right. Connects it. 116. Right, back throw. Grab. He's going to live. He is going to live. 
He's got to make it back to the ledge, though. Oh, he goes it. off super deep for the neutral. Gets it. You know if anyone wanted to fly to the left, so you could easily go for the tech underneath the stage. End up flying to the right side as we enter our final game of Xeno 152 between and Jen and Venia. And can we just talk about, like you said there, watch closely here. When he drops down with the Nair, he tries to make it ambiguous as to which direction he goes in and mm. sends him over to the right. Yeah. If he sends him back, like there, although the percent may not have been high enough, gives him a chance to tech. Don't give him that chance. Set him off on the side. He's gone. That was clutch coming back from Jen, especially because he wild. had not gone for those aggressive offstage options all throughout the set. Here we go, the final game, PS2. Honestly, the, the entire tournament between these two, <laughs> between these two competitors, is probably just gonna be taking place on this stage. You saw Jen counterpick Smashville previously, but definitely feeling a lot more comfortable on PS2. Yep, it would seem so. PS2, the longest stage here. Uh, both of them benefiting from it for the combos. Um, and like we said, very uh, neutral oriented stage. A lot of people yeah. like the gentlemen to this. Jen, all good reasons. Palatine also gets that warp cancel That's off of the true. warps. It's very strong on the platform, so. Mm -hmm. Never forget him. Yep. Oh, falling fair, auto canceled to fair once again. Good conversion on there. Palutena, as she racks up percent, not exactly the best of getting a combo going, but it can pick up there. There we go. Right. Just lands with the Nair, tries to make it a bit safer, gets the reground, and challenges the tech. Smart stuff going out from Venio. Anyway, just fading away with those back ears, trying to apply pressure with the shield. Run directly into the shield, and then jumps out with Nair to get out of the situation. Oh, good parry and good punish. A strong parry for Jen. Trying to get the follow up afterwards. Advantage is going down with a landing forward air. Yep. All right. That could be a potential kill. That yes, sir. Hydro Pump messing up Jen's recovery to get back onto the stage. Going for the down air, or not down air, down smash. Battle recovery takes advantage of the invincibility, seeing if he can get a cheeky kill over on Venya. All right. Chases him down. Very nice. Again, another explosive flame. Not enough, Venya not quick enough to get the punish on it. Mm -mm, not quite. He, it's very difficult when you're in the moment to see the spacing and say, uh, I don't have to shield this. It's quite a ballsy thing to do, and at yep. this percent, that probably would have taken it. So. Well, Jen easily could easily take this back. All he needs is like one grab, one neutral air. Mm -hmm. Dash he is attack. At the ledge. There that it is. Do it. Very, that, that was a little greedy on Venia's part. You know he was definitely looking for that shield grab the second he ran in on the edge of the stage. Whenever you see anyone that can kill the back though, whether it be Palutena, Ness, and Cinderwar, you know, like they, they're hanging on the edge of the stage like that. They're definitely looking for a shield grab. So the fact that he ran in there with the dash attack, very sloppy. Maybe trying to go for a conversion to take an earlier stock, but it is sort of a greedy option and he will pay the price for it, unfortunately. And now it's looking about evened up in the percent. Yo, calls him with the rollback with a jump back fair. What a call. I like Venia hesitating before going for that hydro pump, going all the way down to the bottom to avoid the neutral air follow up from Jen. You saw him jumping off like that. Down throw. All right, no follow ups there. Jumping out of Venya's pressure, taking back center stage. All right, sort of playing out the space right now. Jen not committing to a lot of moves. He's just sort of watching Venya's play. Puts out the fair, but gets beat up by Venya's own. Ooh, oh, that smash. is a hard punish. Again, trying to go for the hard call that we would have caught uh, ledge jump as well. How did he get through him right there? He just uh, went through that man for the pivot grab. Yes, sir, man. I mean, it, honestly, just run that past him. Sometimes it'll happen like that. Here we go, 103%. Okay, threatens the up air right there, hoping to bait out an option for a more guaranteed kill, but doesn't find it. Dash attack again, calling nice. out the neutral air. Yo, good spacing right there. Yeah, <laughs> I yeah it's the oh! spike on the two frame on the ledge. Greta, Venia, one stock left. Final stock of Xeno 152 for him. Mm -hmm. These men are ticking down the clock. Just one down tilt away, one dash attack, or a neutral air. Good parry. Yo, goes for the F-tilt. That was a bit of a greedy parry punish for the damage. And that was fantastic DI from Jen to avoid the follow from the dash attack. You saw him flying to the left after that confirm. All right. Very good patient play from both players here. Jen just trying to get a little bit of extra percent. We'll find there it in the fastball. Tech chases. Gets him with the up air. Oh, my God. He's out of jumps. I'm getting flashbacks. I'm getting hard flashbacks to two weeks ago. <laughs> yeah, honestly, he's going in. Down throw. Try to go for the back air, falls a little bit too far away for that to connect because it goes for the follow-up instead. Yo, Venya is struggling. 91%. Yo, goes for the forward smash. He's feeling himself hard. All right. See, Venya needs this kill right here, right now. This is it. Up smash. All right. There it is. One stock apiece. Jen spawning in. 0%. Gets the grab. 
forward throw. Tries to ca Oh, I like that mix up. Try to go for the explosive flame to keep him on his toes. Mm -hmm. Safe on shield. Back air is coming out. Vinny not going for the punish because it's super unsafe. All right. Lands with Nair there. Does get away with it. Yeah. Chases him down. So Jen now turning it back around to where he was the one getting chased by Venya, now being the one doing the chasing. And Jen doing a great job of just being able to catch those dash attack cross ups, running and gets the dash attack right after himself. It's a smack him with the shield. 139%. Explosive flame got a shield coming out for Venya to be able to survive That's it. it. Doesn't sur survive that one. Gets caught by the small explosive flame. Jen taking home Xeno 152. A little bit of a taunt there. Uh, too bad for you. But yeah, you got you got Jen once again. You know, wasn't here last week, but the Xeno 150 he won mm -hmm. against Venia. This time around, he beats Venia again. Unfortunate for you know your boy a Deadly Lands Venia going down with a second place finish again. But Jen coming back on top. Exactly. A very